This project aims to show professionals how we can combine solar, green roofs and biodiversity and pollinators together. It also is aimed at installers so that they can understand how they can install solar and green roofs together to make a better system but also deliver something for biodiversity which is often not normally something that constructors feel they have to do. It's usually in the construction industry that we see things as separate units and um, you know you have a roof which has solar on it you have a roof that has green but actually in reality one of the good things is you can combine these two technologies solar with green to actually make a better ecosystem services and sustainable approach. So in the planning and design of green roofs for architects and planners is uh, we want to try and explain to uh, professionals that actually we can combine these two approaches to, to roof, roof greening. There is another issue is often because you have constructors who understand green roofs and you have constructors who understand solar panels and there is a need for actually constructors to understand how to implement both simultaneously so actually there is synergies between the two technologies when we implement them. Um, the third level is about pollination because often in the construction industry um, we want to buy a solar panel therefore we want to buy a green roof module and often the green roof modules are a very very generic and there's a there's a really important issue about actually making sure the green roofs work for biodiversity and specifically for pollinators because we're losing a lot of our, our bees, um, particularly our solitary bees, in the wider countryside. So what we're trying to do with this is we're looking both at the construction in terms of green roof and solar panels and actually the detailed ecology. So how could a solar panel actually make a green roof better for pollinators, solitary bees, butterflies, because the solar panel creates um, topography, it creates shade, it creates structure on a roof, which can affect what type of vegetation can grow, and in many ways, in a positive way. Um, so we're dealing with quite a number of um, ecosystem services within this project, which should lead to uh, more sustainable and more beneficial green roofs in the future in Europe.